today we're doing a homeschool uh, Christmas party that I set up and that will kick off like our Christmassy type things. We didn't do a whole lot this year because Caleb was born on the 7th of November. I was recovering from that and then I ended up having a gallbladder flare up and had to go get my gallbladder removed. So then I was recovering from that. So I'm feeling a lot better now, but um, it just meant that we didn't start our Christmas celebrations till a little bit later. to do Christmas dinner there. This is Crystal, and Crystal is heavier than normal wax. And when I was her age, I had a neighbor, and her house was full of glass like this. And it was so beautiful. And she had it all in the living room, and when the sun shone in the window, it would catch the light and the crystal, and there'd be just reflections everywhere. And I used to love to go into that room and see all of this crystal. And uh, some of my friends would come with me, and whenever we, we, we went in, she'd say, don't touch, don't touch anything, because I think we might have broken one of them once. So she told us never to touch. And we said, but it's so beautiful. Yes, but it's just to look at, and it's not to touch. So that's often what crystal is, something very beautiful, but we're just to look at it. We can't touch it, and a lot of people have it, and they never use it, even though this is supposed to be a picture, maybe somebody will never even use it. They just look at it and never touch it. And that tells us something about Christmas. We may think that God is somebody that's far, far up there and we can never touch him, and he never comes close to us. He's just someone beautiful to think about, someone powerful to maybe be a bit afraid of. But Christmas tells us that God wants to come close to us. And that's why he became a little baby. Because there's nothing more uh, fragile than a little baby. And God came to us in a fragile, helpless little baby in order to tell us that I want to be one of you, I want to be close to you, and I want to show you my love. 
And that's the message of Christmas. Now, Eva's going to help you with Away in the Manger. 